Now, the number of preschoolers taking up AI programs has jumped by as much as 75 percent over the past year. This comes as some preschools adopt twice as many early education apps in classes. And that's to help children learn languages easily and spark creativity. Yet experts warn that exposing kids to AI so early has its issues, in particular, excessive screen time. Mohamed Bahajaj has more. There's a new kid on the block and its name is AI. This language learning program highlights each preschooler's mistakes and customizes fun coaching until they get it right. Two years with this AI tool and this preschool operator has seen its students learn up to 10 times more words. Still, it's making sure there's a healthy balance between man and machine. Teacher teach the lesson. Definitely, we're not going to change that. But a teacher in a class cannot provide one-to-one -one, uh, assistance to so many children. So AI comes in as a revision tutor to revise the things that the children have learned from the teacher. And this combination of human-AI collaboration, it works wonders. Even then, experts warn that tech in such a young classroom can be a hazard. We also need to ensure that the digital activities are developmentally appropriate. That means avoiding passive screen time and focusing on interactive, purposeful learning. Uh, so a balanced approach is key because our children still need plenty of time for physical play, social interaction and, of course, creative exploration. The Health Ministry has stipulated a maximum of one hour per day of screen time for kids. At Novation ensures its 600 preschoolers engage with devices only one hour per week. It throws in physical interactive programs to mimic coding commands and makes sure communication, leadership and creativity are front and centre of its lessons. United as a nation, the city was clean just in time for a fresh batch of ice kacang. So our children is not just learning the technical skills, we, want, we also want them to learn the human intelligence we call HI, all these things we talk about, so they become balanced. Hi, welcome to Credit Class. This AI app offers 15 minutes a day programs based on each child's progress and interests. While it's still in its piloting phase with physical classrooms, it has noted a 75% jump in online sign-ups. It credits its growth to greater awareness from parents on the importance of digital literacy and preparing children for a tech-driven future from a young age. Yet not all AI education programs are a success in classrooms. Brookie Kids' storytelling app was not adopted after being piloted to about 20 preschools starting in 2022. I think there were concerns from uh, preschool operators and educators about the amount of screen time being used in the classrooms. So as a result, it didn't uh, go very far in, in terms of how in the piloting uh, with preschools for using the speech AI tools in classrooms. Still, it sees a 30% growth in sales with parents its main clientele. To date, it has 1,500 users. 